hello guys in today's video we'll be drafting a basic bodies and to start with we need to get this you know four square box and how do you do that you get your bust pan your bust measurement sorry um divided by two whatsoever you have you had one so mine is 40 divided by two that's 20 plus one but if you're on the plus size you need to add more than that so for me i'll be using um two inches 40 above we use two inches so for me i'll be using two inches so that's 40 divided by two that's 20 plus two inches that's 22 and for the vertical length that's the length of your basic bodies so i'll be using 21 so moving on you make sure you divide this into two equal halves so the half of 22 inches is 11 so that's exactly what i'm doing now so i have 11 then i connect them together so center front and that's my center back so the next thing we need to impute is our half length for the front half length is 18 inches and for the back is 16. you know usually your half length for the front is quite longer than that of the back because of the bust so i'm going to connect that so my half length for the front is 18 and that of the back is 16 inches so listen carefully guys i've measured the half length for the center back which is 18 and for my back half length is 16 inches as you can see okay and for the back panel is what 16. now this is my center back and this is my work i'm sorry my center front and my center back now you already know that my total length is I'm making use of 21 okay now you know the half length for the front and for the back are not quite the same they have difference of two inches now this is for me depending on yours so you take that difference away so since this is two inches difference you come down from the for the center back now because we need to get the total length for the center back so we'll come up by two inches okay we'll come up we'll go up by two inches so this will be our length for the center back Hope you understand, please. So this will be the length. Okay. This is the length for the center front. And this will be the length of the center back. Now, this, there's still a difference between these two. But we are going to close it up with that. So I'll show you how to do that. I just need you to understand what I've just done. So you go ahead and impute the shoulder to nipple. You have to measure that. Mine is 12 inches. So you measure that across for the center back and the center front. Then you make a straight line. Moving on, measure your shoulder. My shoulder is 16 divided by two, that's eight inches. So you can see me do that for the center back and the center front and for the center back you come down by one inch and the center front 1.5 okay so now i'm going to teach you how to calculate your arm hole and that's bust divided by six whatsoever you get plus 1.5 and that's 8.167 that you see there so you measure that at the center back not at the center front so you place that on the one inch you measured down before, not at the shoulder line. So you measure your 8.167 as you see me do. Okay. So you now, from the shoulder line now, you measure what you have. That's what exactly 
you what you measure at the center front so you make a straight line and that is our chest line so for the neck line for the center back that's you're making use of three inches by one inch and for the center front you make use of three inches by three inches so that's three by three for the center front and the center back is three by one then you connect so go ahead and label your chest line bust line waist line so moving on remember we came down by 1.5 inch at the center front so try and connect that to your shoulder line and we came down by one inch at the center back connect that as well so now that's the shoulder shoulder measurement eight inches then you make a straight line down to that to connect that so for the center front go in go up by two inches okay go in go up by two inches and for the center back whatever you have divided by two okay so at that you go in by 7.5.75 inch that's three quarter of an inch then for the center back you go in by half inch then you connect so that is 0 0.75 you connect then make use of your cuff ruler and make a fine cuff over there okay ship that out and we're almost done okay so now for the nipple to nipple measurement mine is eight you divide it by two and that's four inches so on your boss line you measure four inches all the way down now there's a little bit of an error there you for the center front you go down by one inch and not at the chest line okay you go down by one for the center front that's one inch below the boss line okay not the chest lines guys and for the center back it is one inch below the chest line okay so for the dart um go in by 0 0.75 take out 0 0.75 on each side normally you take out half an inch but for me i'm of a plus size so i take out three quarter of an inch to give room at the bust area then for the back panel to shape that at the waistline take out half inch okay then go up by three inches or four inches then you connect that that's just to shape the back okay then you connect so moving on guys the next thing we need to do is is to put in our side that now our side that will be the difference between the front panel and the back panel which is two inches so measure that so if you're different between your front and your back is one measure one okay so now so you input your waist measurement at the waistline for the center back so that will be starting from the new waistline okay you know you came in by half an inch so you had one and from the front i'm gonna add 1.5 because i use 0 0.75 for my dad okay so recap for the waistline at the front had 1.5 inch was whoever you have you took in for your dad is what you had back okay so for the back panel i'll be using 0 0.5 and not 0 0.75 for the back okay 
I'll be using half an inch for the dart and I'll connect it. So for the front panel, remember the two inches difference. So for the bus, from the bus point, go in by one inch, then you connect that. Okay. So that is our side that. So at this point, guys, we are basically done. All you need to do is I'm going to cancel out the area we're going to be cutting out. And that's it for your basic bodies. So I'll be showing you how to cut that as well. Okay. So you cut those out. We don't need them. And your pattern is ready. Now, there's a lot of things you can do. You can adjust, you know, from this. You can actually, you know, transfer your side that to your shoulder that. Um, if you want me to do that, let me know. And with this method, you see that. Now, some of you might be wondering, like, you know, the front panel is quite longer than the... So, that's fine. But I'm... Um, I will be showing you how to close your dart. You can close your side dart and transfer it to your shoulder dart. You can do different things with this method, okay? So please and please try this out and let me know in the comment section. And until I see you next time, so this is just a quick, quick one uh, to show you how to close your pattern. So this is how, this is what we have. So you say, oh, this is, this is longer. Okay. All you need to do is what? Close up your side hat. Okay. So you see some dress, you see them have this side that, you know, this, this, this is it. This is how you do it. Okay. And, you know, you have the same length now. So that's it. And we're done okay so let me know if you want to sh if you want me to show you how to transfer these you know to your fabric how to cut out how to trace it out and had your you know sewing allowance so this there's no sewing allowance there you, you just need to add you know at your shoulder line your neckline and your side seam okay so if you want me to do that let me know in the comment section till i see you next time thank you for watching please please guys subscribe to my channel thank you